Hi, welcome to AutoCAD customizing the keyboard from our tips, tricks and tactics video series. The keyboard is one of the easiest items to customize in AutoCAD and in my years of CAD management experience one of the most productive. Many AutoCAD users are reasonably good at using the keyboard and can get to commands quicker than many of the other customizing options. We are going to look at three different ways of customizing the keyboard inside AutoCAD. The first method is by customizing the PGP or Program Parameters file. The second method is by customizing the CUI or Customize User Interface file. And the third and last method is by creating an LSP or AutoList file. So let's start by looking at the PGP file. So where is the PGP file? You will find the ACAD PGP file tucked away under each user's roaming folder on C drive. It's like walking through a maze to find it. However, you will notice that under the AutoCAD options command, it is in the first shown folder under support file search paths. Many people ask, can I move this file? The answer is yes. Basically, if you're going to customize it, it is a good idea to move it. The advantage of moving any files that you customize to a central CAD library area is it is easy to reconnect to these files whenever you upgrade. And it is easy to give other users access to these files by copying them to their C drive or to a commonly shared area on your server. So let's look at three different options for moving it. The first option is if you are a standalone user working on your own PC with no server. Why not create a new folder on your C drive with a subfolder, say called CAD library, and another subfolder under that called support. Copy the file into here. The next thing to do is to go into options and add this new path to the top of your support file search paths so that AutoCAD finds and uses this folder and its files first. The second option is if you are a network user working on your own PC with a server and all users have to use the same company customized PGP file. Why not create a new folder on a server in this example your S drive with a subfolder again called CAD library and another subfolder under that called support. Copy the file into here. The next thing to do is in AutoCAD. Go to options and add this new path to the top of your support file search paths so that AutoCAD finds and uses this folder and its files first. Remember if this file is edited it affects all users so it's normally managed by the CAD manager. The third option is if you are a network user working on your PC with a server and you are allowed to work on your own customized PGP file. More often than not, users have a personal drive on the server, normally the H drive. Create a subfolder here, again called CAD library, and another subfolder under that called support. Copy the file into here. The next thing to do is in AutoCAD, go into options and add this new path to the top of your support file search path so that AutoCAD finds and uses this folder and its files first. Remember, this file can be customized by each individual user to suit their requirements and any editing does not affect other users. Let's look how to edit and use this PGP file. The first method we are going to look at involves editing the file using Notepad. Use Windows Explorer to locate your PGP file. For this example, I have set up using the first option I described earlier with the PGP file in C drive, CAD library, support. As this file is a simple text file, open it using Notepad. This looks like a large complicated file, but it really isn't. 
All of the lines that begin with a semicolon are information lines for anyone editing the file. They are not read by AutoCAD. Now there are a few sections in this file. Let's go down to this area. Here you'll find all of the keyboard shortcuts that you're familiar with, such as L for line, A for arc, and E for arrays, etc. As you can see, the keyboard shortcut is on the left hand side, followed by a comma. The standard AutoCAD command it uses is on the right hand side and preceded by an asterisk. That's it, it's that simple. Now let's say I want, let's come down here, here. I want to use C for copy, not circle. And I'm going to change circle to be CC. Now I can delete this option here for circle, but what I'm going to do is put a semicolon on front of it, which means AutoCAD won't read that anymore. It's just become an information line. And what I will do is come in here and we will put C comma, come across, asterisk and copy. Come under there, CC, come across, and make that circle. So we'll save that, close that off, and go back into AutoCAD. Now, back in AutoCAD, these changes will not work until we reinitialize the PGP file. So I'm going to type reinit for reinitialize, pick the PGP file, and hit OK. So now, if I type CC, I'm drawing a circle. If I type C, I'm now copying. Okay, so our changes are in place. Now let's look at the second method for editing and using the PGP file. Here we're going to look at the AI underscore edit cust file command inside AutoCAD. Okay, let's go to the ribbon menu, manage, under the customization panel, edit aliases, and there's the PGP edit. Now, I'm pretty sure that this command has been available in AutoCAD and AutoCAD at LT since 2017. The great thing is it automatically finds your PGP file using the support file search pass under options. That is why it is important that your path is first so it finds your version of the PGP file. So as you can see, it opens up in Notepad. We can add a shortcut like we did before. Now I'm going to use AA for arc, which just meant we've got AA for area, so I just knocked that out with a comment. And I'm going to put AA with a comma. Now this time, I'm not going to worry about lining it all up. The lining it up makes it easy to read, but I'm just going to show you that this methodology works. So we'll save that, close the file, back in AutoCAD, I will re-init for reinitialize the PGP file, OK. So now if we test it out, if I type AA, I'm now drawing an arc. Now let's look at the third method for editing and using the PGP file. Here we're going to look at using the alias edit command under the express tools. This is only available in AutoCAD. It's not available in AutoCAD LT. Let's go to the ribbon menu. Go to express tools. Under tools, there's the command aliases editor. Now the nice thing, it doesn't open. Notepad, it's got its own little interface here with buttons on the side for adding, removing, editing. So I could come down, I will find the AA that we put in earlier. I can remove it. Okay, let's add one. I'm going to add another silly one here. I'm just going to do LL and I'm going to make that correspond to the line command. Okay, so you can see that's going in. Now there's no commas or asterisks to put in this time. This takes care of all of it. So hit OK. Now do you want to overwrite it? Yes. Now it's prompting us here that it's going to update the PGP file session. 
So that means I don't have to do re-init. I can go straight to using LL, and there's the line command, all ready to use. So there you have a few different methods for setting up and editing your PGP shortcut command file. So in closing, if you want more information about customizing your keyboard or need assistance in setting it up, do not hesitate to contact Interscale at any time. Until next time, thank you.